Today is the day. Today I hopefully let Jesse know how I really feel. Who's Jesse, you might ask? We've been friends since we were kids. We went to school together, played together, we were inseparable. I wanted to spend every day with Jesse for the rest of my life. I don't know what it was that made me feel that way, whether it was just love for a friend or something more. But I know something like that would be impossible. Eventually, we would both grow up and we'd have to go our separate ways. We went to the same high school, but in separate classes. Jesse made friends while I sat alone. I tried making friends, but none of them gave me the same feeling that Jesse gave me. And I felt like Jesse didn't need me anymore. For years, I tried to figure out my feelings. What was I feeling? What does Jesse mean to me? What do I mean to Jesse? Even though we never really hung out or even talked in high school, we still always remembered each other. Whether it was a quick glance or a simple hello, little things that honestly kept me going. Even though I felt alone in the world, knowing there was someone who still cared about me meant the world to me. Then it happened. Jesse chose to move to a college away from the city, away from me. I felt the crushing weight of the world come down on me. I didn't know how to react. I didn't know how to process it. I didn't know how to let go of the one who mattered the most to me in life. Why did I feel that way? Why did this affect me so much? Why did Jesse have to mean so much to me? After that, there was no doubt in my mind. I love Jesse. Not just as a friend, too, but as so much more. So, today's the day. Today's the day I tell Jesse how I feel, how I really feel. Tomorrow, Jesse leaves for college, so I suggested we go watch the fireworks. I felt like we needed to see each other one last time. Or, to be more specific, I needed to. I could spot Jesse from far away. The closer and closer I got, the more and more my heart raced. As if my heart was begging to see Jesse. It's been so long that I don't even know if our relationship is the same anymore. What if I was too distant? What if Jesse rejects my love? <sighs> okay, I can do this. J Jesse? Sam? Hey, how have you been? It's been a while, man. Good. Um... Uh, what's wrong? You okay? Is it something I did? No, I, I mean, of, of course not. Just have something to say, huh? You've always been that way. <laughs> I know we haven't kept in touch, but you know you can tell me anything- I love you! What? <laughs> uh, I love you too, bud. No, not like that. What? I know this sounds crazy and you can laugh at me when I'm done, but I want to tell you this. No, I need to tell you this. Something I've been feeling for so, so long. At first, I was confused about how I felt. I didn't know if what I felt was real or if it was okay. I was afraid to tell you how I feel. I locked away all my thoughts and feelings for you. I thought that you'd hate me or think I'm crazy. I thought that telling you how I wanted to be close to you would drive you even further away. And now that you're going to college, away from me, I couldn't stand the idea of losing you. I'm afraid that this could be the end of us, and if so, I might as well risk it. But for the thought of being with you forever makes it all worth it. So I'm sorry, but I needed you to know how I feel. Because you mean so much to me, Jesse. You are my happiness. You are the smile on my face. All throughout high school, when I tried to make friends, none of them ever made me feel the way you do. Because none of them were you. I don't know what words to say to make you fall for me. I'm not a romantic or a poet. I don't know how to use fancy words. But no matter what I say, every time I look at you, only one thing comes to mind that I, I love you.
Sam, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, no, it's okay. I know you probably don't feel the same way. I never really thought that you would. I mean, look at you. You're hot and popular. You could get any girl you wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you'll probably forget about me anyways when you go to college. Because in reality, I'll be nothing more than just a forgotten man. Don't assume you know how I feel. Because you clearly don't. You were never just a friend to me. No, you... You were so much more. The sadness you felt when we were apart... I felt that too. I never wanted us to be in different classrooms, but... We had no control over that. But I do have control over how I feel. I'm so glad you told me. Because I love you too. I was just too afraid to admit it. You were? Yep. <laughs> it's funny, huh? How I'm usually the more confident one. And I guess you're even braver than I am. But what about college? Does this mean you're not going? Are you going to stay here? With me? Sam. I have to go. If I'm going to achieve my dream of becoming an artist, I, I need to go to that school. It's the best in the country. I don't want to leave you, Sam. But I need to become the kind of man you can look up to. And provide for you. But you already are. You might think so, but I don't. I need to do this. But I promise this won't be like high school again. I'll text you, I'll call... Shit, I'll even send you letters. <laughs> but... Can you promise me one thing? Wait for me? Of course I will! I'll wait as long as I have to if it means I get to be with you. And I'll visit you as much as I can. Even if I have to walk to your school, I will. Because it's worth it just to see your face. <laughs> Sam, this is why I love you. And I love you too. <laughs>